Hello. Today we will learn how to use a caliper correctly. A caliper is a precise measuring tool that allows you to measure the external, internal dimensions of objects, as well as their depth. Using it correctly is key to accurate work. Before we begin, let's take a closer look at the caliper. The caliper consists of fixed jaw for measuring external dimensions, sliding jaw for measuring external dimensions, fixed jaw for measuring internal dimensions, sliding jaw for measuring internal dimensions, vernier scale, millimeter scale, vernier lock, depth gauge. To measure dimensions, such as the external diameter of a sleeve, place it between the caliper's jaws. Make sure the jaws are aligned with the object and are not pressing too tightly. Finally, tighten the lock screw to prevent accidental movement of the vernier scale, which would prevent us from reading the correct dimension. Now look at the caliper scale. The first reading will be taken from the main scale. These will be the full millimeters. Check where the zero is located. In this case, it will be 22 millimeters. Next, look at the vernier scale to read the fractional part of a millimeter. Check which lines align. We see that the lines align at this point, which means we have 0.6 millimeters. The sum of these two readings gives us an external diameter of 22.6 millimeters. However, the caliper can measure with greater accuracy. Let's read this dimension. We see that zero is located at this point, so we have 21 millimeters. Now let's check the fractional values. We see that these lines align, which gives us 0.35 millimeters. Therefore, the exact dimension is 21.35 millimeters. Measuring internal dimensions, such as the diameter of a hole, is similar. This time we use the internal jaws of the caliper. Insert the jaws into the hole, and then read the measurement just like before. In this case, we see that the internal diameter is 14.4 millimeters. You can also use the caliper to measure depth. For this, place the edge of the caliper on the surface of the object and then insert the depth gauge into the hole. We read the dimension in the same way as with previous measurements. In this case, we see a dimension of 21.9 millimeters. These are the basics of using a caliper. Remember to always use this tool with the highest precision and caution to obtain accurate measurements.